Good morning, everyone. My name is Melissa Wick, and welcome to day 30 of 30 Days of Morning Yoga. I bow to you. I'm so proud of you and so proud of us for doing the best that we can on this journey together, this time we've had together. If you found this series useful, having a morning routine, a morning habit, or a daily habit or ritual, then I encourage you to continue and look forward to the next 30 days of your life. And even if you don't practice a full yoga practice in the morning, perhaps even implementing the practice when you wake up and open your eyes to just tune into the energy of gratitude, picking three things that you're grateful for, and even just connecting deeply with your breath a minute or so, or even just five deep breaths can really shift the tone for the rest of your day, setting an intention. So my hope is that you continue to establish and cultivate a ritual for yourself and a morning practice. So this practice, our final day together, is a full body yoga flow for all levels. No props are needed. And this is it. So it's been truly an honor to be here with you. I have so much gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. So go ahead and prop your hips up on something if you like. Find a little bit of more comfort and ease. Adjust connecting your sit bones to your prop or the ground. Give your shoulders a little loop up, back and down. Relax the elbows. Closing the eyes, find a lift and length in the spine. Aligning the crown of the head over the base of the spine, softening your gaze. Let's invite in two deep cleansing breaths to arrive here together. So big inhale through your nose. Let yourself fill up. Exhale out through the mouth. One more like this. Fully inhale, feel your belly and chest expand. And exhale, let it go. Closing the mouth and shift your awareness to your breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Give yourself permission to fully, fully be here now. Exactly as you are. Nothing to add and nothing to take away. Just feeling your body be breathed. Now as you're establishing this smooth rhythm of breath, you can keep your eyes closed and just reach your arms up, breathe in, gather the arms up. As you exhale, palms touch and they come right in front of the heart space. No rush, we'll do this two more times. Inhale, arms sweep up, sinking the movement with your breath. Exhale, hands come through heart center. One more like this, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale to center. And again, inhale, arms sweep up. As you exhale, this time right arm down, left arm up and over, chest stays open, reach through your left fingers, softening the shoulders, but just start to awaken the spine in all directions. Good, and then inhale, both arms reach up, and exhale, left arm down, right arm up and over to the left. Reach to the fingers, collarbone smiling. Good. Inhale, both arms reach up. We'll move dynamically here as you exhale. Twist to the right, left hand to the right thigh. Shoulders open. And inhale, arms reach up center. 
Exhale, twist to the left, right arm to left thigh or knee. And we'll do that one more time fully. Inhale to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back to center, arms reach up, warming up those shoulders. As you exhale, place your hands on top of your shoulders and we'll start to make some circles here. Doesn't matter which direction, we'll go both ways. Going as slow or as fast as you'd like, as big or as small as you'd like. And then change directions, explore your range of motion. Finishing off your last circle, we're going to invite in Bastrika, Bellows Breath. We did this earlier on in the journey. It's an energizing pranayama to clear out any stagnant energy. Great to do in the mornings. So you're just going to twist from left to right. And you don't have to do the breath if you're not feeling up for it today. But if you want to do the breath work, when you turn to the left, you inhale. When you turn to the right, you exhale in and out through the nose. So join me when you're ready. You can focus your eyes on one spot or gently bring the head with you. You can go slower than me or faster. Inviting in this sense of groundedness and calm as you do the breath work. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back to center, arms reach up, breathe in. Palms touch, exhale, hands come to heart center. A cycle of breath here with the palms in front of the heart. Gently open the eyes if they're closed. And let's continue to move together. So let's head on to all fours, blocks aside, and eventually meeting in downward facing dog. So plant your hands down, feet hip width distance, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, push up and back, downward facing dog. Might be the first downward dog of your morning, definitely of this practice. So maybe you want to pedal it out. Maybe you bend your knees a lot. Maybe you bring in a couple hip dips, whatever you like to do, or you could even just be still. Focus your eyes on one point. That's going to help to st steady your mind and your breath. When you got your wiggles and jiggles out, find some stillness. Chest is reaching towards the tops of the thighs. Firm the outer ankles and outer thighs so the knees aren't collapsing into each other. Slight pull in of the belly. Now we'll bend the knees and look between the hands and then take as many steps as you need or want or desire to come to the top of your mat and forward fold. Feet hip width distance apart. As you inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to your shins or quads or keep them on the ground. Belly in, shoulders back, chin in, really long spine. As you exhale, forward fold. Awakening the hamstrings and the legs. One more time, inhale, halfway lift, nice and smooth. And exhale, forward fold. We're going to rise, root down with your feet to find length in the spine. Lift the arms up, come to stand all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Arms down by the side. We're going to come into chair pose to awaken the legs a little more. Sit back in your imaginary chair, belly pulls in, engaging the glutes. So you want to see if you can look down and see your toes, maybe give them a lift and then relax them back down. So collarbones open, broaden the upper back, neutral pelvis, belly is in. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. You can always make the arms a little wider if the shoulders feel tight or always bring the arms out in front of you, plugging the shoulders in. 
steady your eyes on one point starting to feel that internal heat good as you inhale extend the legs arms reach up exhale swim the arms behind you interlace the hands loop the shoulders onto the back extend the elbows open the chest bend the knees breathing in as you exhale lead with the heart and we'll keep the knees bent or you can lengthen them arms come as far forward as it feels okay relax the back of the neck breathing into the abdomen Good, and then release your hands with care. Halfway lift as you breathe in, fingertips to shins or quads, long spine. Exhale, plant your palms and step back to high plank. So heels, hips, shoulders, head in one line. Pubic bone curls in towards the chin, broaden the upper back, legs strong. As you exhale, knees can come down or move from high plank. Bend your elbows towards the back of the mat, lower onto your belly. Inhale, cobra. Tops the feet press down, shoulders slide down, heart forward and up, chin in. Exhale, lower. Again, inhale nice and smooth, lift, cobra, baby cobra or cobra. And exhale, lower. Maybe this time you find a little bit more length. Inhale, push down with your palms lightly, elbows in, shoulders softened. And exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes underneath, maybe slide the hands back a little bit. Inhale, you extend the arms, lift the belly, and exhale, downward facing. Re-establish that strong connection with your breath. Let's inhale, the right leg is going to sweep up. Three-legged dog will bend the right knee, engaging the glutes, knee becomes the highest point. Close that right shoulder down so the shoulder stays squared towards the top of the mat. As you exhale, moving with control, you're going to start to bring that right foot forward. Keep pulling the belly in, 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 lift, 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 and then step your right foot through. You can always use your hand to assist the leg. Left knee comes down. Arms sweep up. Low lunge. So zip up the low belly. Tail lengthens down. Drop that right hip. Breathe in. As you exhale, bend your elbows. Pull that right hip back. Lift up and out of the waist. Show your heart. Inhale, arms extend up. As you exhale, half split. Cycle of breath here. Or one breath per movement. We'll do this two more times. Bend your right knee, arms sweep up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Blossom your heart open. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, half split. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Right knee bends. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend the arms. And exhale, half split. You can stay here with hands on the ground or maybe hands on blocks. Just a few breaths here. Find this dragging action of this right heel. So the right hip is pulling back, softening the shoulders. Finding more ease and softness in your hamstring. Creating space with your breath. Good, let's re-bend the right knee, and then we'll tuck the left toes under, power up the back leg. Arms will come on the inside of the right leg, lift the hips slightly higher, skandasana to the left. So heels turn in, toes out, walk your hands to the back of your mat, left knee bends. Left knee tracks in line with the left toes. And make sure the right knee is facing towards the ceiling. Your right toes can be pointed, or you can flex the foot. If it feels better to be on the ball of the left foot, that's fine or flat foot. Just make sure you're not feeling any pain in the knee and you're still supporting yourself with some strength so you're not over stretching the hamstrings. Good, and then we'll re-bend the right knee, walk yourself back to the front, all 10 toes face forward. Back leg strong, ground down through your right heel. When you're ready, reach up, high lunge. As you exhale, open up warrior two. Firm the outer edge of the left foot, tail down. Low belly zips in, right knee in line with second and third toe. Flip your right palm, reverse. Legs to the same, enjoy this nice side body stretch. 
and then extended side angle right forearm to right thigh left arm to the sky or left palm down reach to the left fingers keep tucking the right glute under trust to lean the chest back right hand can stay where it is or maybe you want to grab the right hand wrap around your right ankle if you'd like as long as you're not compromising your breath maintaining the sense of ease as you move With lots of care, we come back to warrior two. Extend your right leg, lower the arms, and gently step to the top of your mat. Preparing for figure four chair pose. So let's come into Utkatasana. So sit back in your imaginary chair. We'll bring the palms to touch in front of the heart space. And then we'll cross the right ankle, let it clear the left thigh, right foot is flexed. So keep pulling the belly in, sit back in your chair, palms touching here. Chest open, slide the shoulders down. You'll feel your legs start to support you and engage as you invite in softness. So here, you can just focus your eyes on one point. Maybe the forearms come to your shins if you'd like. So meet yourself wherever you're at today in this moment. And each day may be different. One breath at a time. Feeling that nice stretch in your hips, inviting in balance and focus. Good, and then with lots of care and control, we come back to stand. Let's sweep the arms up, breathe in. Nice tall spine. As you exhale, lead with the heart, either swan dive or hands come through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back either to high plank and flow or to downward facing dog. One breath per movement, no rush. Feel your whole way through, either coming to belly or upward facing to or cobra. <laughs> and exhale, downward facing. Couple cycles of breath here. Good, let's continue. Left leg sweeps up, moving like honey. Bend your left knee, knee becomes the highest point, engage your glutes. Right heel behind the toes, close the left shoulder, keep pushing down through the palms, long spine. With control, we're gonna start to come forward, pull the belly in, knee is bent, and then you step the left foot through between the hands, right knee comes down, arms sweep up, Low lunge. Zip up the low belly, drop that left hip, breathing in. As you exhale, bend your elbows, pull the left hip back, reach up and out. And then reach the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, half split. Ride the wave of your breath two more times. Inhale, bend the knee, arms sweep up. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend. Exhale, half split. One more time. Bend the knee, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, show your heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, half split. You're welcome to use blocks here. Three cycles of breath. Really drag that left hip back in space, left toes toward the face. Find softness. Good. Let's re-bend the left knee. Tuck your right toes under. Power up your back leg. Arms on the inside of the left leg. Lift your hips up slightly. Skandasana to the right. Heels in, toes out. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. Right knee tracks in line with the right toes. Left knee towards the sky. So your hands could be on the ground supporting you. If you feel like you have the strength and the openness today, maybe palms touch. And being, being mindful that you're not just dumping all the way and hanging out deep in the hamstrings. We want to support ourselves with our strength as well. And then we'll walk the, the hands back to frame the left foot all ten toes face forward. Ground down through your left heel when you're ready. High lunge. As you exhale, open up warrior two. Firm the outer edge of the right foot. 
Left knee in line with second and third toe. Virabhadrasana two. Flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Legs stay the same. Chest open. And extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm to the sky, or palm down, reach to the fingers. Back leg firm, tuck the left glute under, staying here, or maybe left hand grabs left ankle. Keep tucking the left glute underneath, leaning the chest back. Relax any gripping in your toes. Using your strength with control, we come back to warrior two. Extend your left leg, lower the arms. Come to step gently to the top of your mat. Preparing for figure four, chair on the other side. So hands could come into prayer. Sit back in your imaginary chair. Left ankle crosses the right thigh. Left foot stays flexed, protect the knee. Belly pulls in. And then maybe you just stay right here or forearms come to the shin. Eyes on one point. Smooth it out. Great, with lots of care, come back to stand. Palms face open, Tadasana. Shoulders down, maybe close your eyes. A cycle of breath here, just feel your power, your strength, your resilience. Gently blink, open the eyes. Arms reach up, breathe in. Last flow here, all the way down, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, flow it out from high plank or just step back to downward facing dog. Now from downward dog, we're gonna move in to pigeon, a nice hip opener. If you prefer deer pose or any other hip opener, please feel free to move into that. If you're coming to pigeon with me, right knee comes towards the right wrist, right ankle towards the left, slide the left leg back in space. Hips are right in the middle, maybe arms out to the side at first, and then inhale, open the chest. As you exhale, let's take the pigeon to sweep. You could bring your forearms down and stack the fists, or maybe bring a bolster in front of you or a block under your forehead. Support yourself as you need, maybe a pillow under your right glute. We won't be here for too, too long. Just about six or seven breaths. Maybe close your eyes. Commit to your position. Breathe through any density. Beautiful. Now let's come back onto the hands, moving your props aside. It's a shorter pigeon. Tuck the left toes under. Push down with your hands, lift your core, and just step back to downward facing. And we'll do a simple switch to the other side. When you're ready, left knee to left wrist, left ankle towards right. Slide the right leg back in space. Start with the hips nice and level and arms out to the side. As you breathe in, open the chest, you might feel a nice stretch in your right hip flexor, as long as you're not feeling pain in your lower back. As you exhale, pigeon goes to sleep. Use the props as you need, maybe pillow or block under your forehead. Notice if there's a spot somewhere here, an area where you're avoiding. 
listening to your body. Maybe you shift your weight a little bit to an area where there's a lot of tension. See if you can find the courage to melt it all away with your exhales. Beautiful. Let's come back onto the hands, removing any props. Bring your left sit bone down to the ground and swing your right leg forward and around for a seated twist. Right foot to the outside of the left thigh, both sit bones connected. You can always sit up on something. Right hand behind you as a kickstand, left arm reaches up, breathe in. As you exhale, either hug your right knee in, twisting to the right, or hook. As long as the chest stays nice and open, crown of the head over the base of the spine, twisting from the core. Nice gentle rinse, one breath at a time. Balancing and neutralizing our practice. Beautiful, back all the way over to the left, counter stretch. And to center, do a little switch. Right knee bends, left foot to the outside of the right thigh, left hand behind you as a kickstand, right arm reaches up, breathe in. As you exhale, twist to the left, either hug in or hook. Shoulders open, head is the last to turn so that you're initiating the twist from the belly, the abdomen. Good, and then as you exhale, both hands over to the right, counter stretch. Back to center, we're gonna roll down onto our backs, winding down, so feet placed down on the ground. As we've been practicing, arms down in front of you, palms face each other, we're gonna pull the belly in and slowly roll down, feet stay planted. Try to get the low back to touch the mat first, articulating the spine. Feel that strength all the way down onto your back. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Your knees can stay bent, or you can extend the legs straight or come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet touch, knees open, closing your eyes. Actively letting love flow through the palms of your hand as you gently breathe in and out. Tuning into the energy of gratitude. Gratitude for our breath, for our bodies allowing us to move the way that we move, for carrying us through life. Gratitude for all of our resources. Gratitude for our sacred lives. And anything else that you're grateful for. Now you could stay right here as your final resting shape, as your Shavasana. If you'd like to take a more traditional approach, you're welcome to extend the legs out long. Hands rest wherever you wish. There is nothing left for you to do. 
Let your whole body rest. Inviting in heavy, heavy bones. Allowing the prana, your life force energy, to organize itself into balance and harmony and coherence as you lay here in this ultimate state of receivership. And know that the more you relax, the more you are supported and held. If you'd like to set an intention for the rest of your day, you can do that now. What is your intention? As you exhale, allow that intention to anchor in and radiate throughout your entire being. Feeling it now. Stay here for as long as you can or desire to. Thank you so much for your trust, for being on this journey together, for sharing your practice. It truly, truly has been an honor and I am so grateful. Until next time, from my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.